This is a pre-calibrated version of IFTT pin. So as shown in the paper, what we want to do is type a four digit pin and we're going to do this one digit at a time. The top part of the interface is where the digit will be placed and this square here, dark square, is telling us that we are currently typing the first digit. So let's say for this example we're going to type the year 2021. What's happening in the middle here is all the digits that we can enter, so from 0 to 9, are displayed and are assigned a color, which is either gray or yellow. 5 gray, 5 yellow. To enter a pin, we look at the digit we want to type, so a 2, because this is the first digit, number 2, and if it's yellow, we simply click on the yellow button to say my digit is yellow. So I'm going to click on the button yellow, and then the colors on the pad have changed. This hasn't changed because I'm still trying to type the first digit. So I continue, 2 is now gray, I click on gray. 2 is yellow, I click on yellow. And after three clicks here, I typed the digit 2. The um, square I has changed to the digit number 2, which is a 0 for us. And I 0 is gray, I look at 0, it's gray, I click on the gray button. Gray, gray, yellow. Two, because we're trying to type 2022, so two is yellow, 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 and 2021, one is gray, I click on gray, one is yellow, I click on yellow, one is gray, I click on gray. So in a nutshell, this is how the interface works. Now there is another version of this interface that explains how the elimination process is happening. And for that I, I want to introduce the same version of the interface but with a side panel. And this side panel is simply representing all the digits. For each digit we have the code pad, like the pad where the user is pressing the buttons, is shown as it is. And on it, after each click, we'll register a small dot, a small palette, that will be colored according to the color of the digit at the time. So just to, let's not look at, uh, and let's not think of typing any digit, but let's just see, look at 0 and 1. We notice that 0 is yellow and 1 is gray, and when I'm going to click on, let's say, this button, the yellow button, you see that there is a big palette that is assigned on all the yellow buttons, on the left button, for all the digits. And that for the digit 0, which was yellow, the, the palette is yellow. And for the digit 1, the palette is gray. What we also notice is that the digit 0 is remaining green, while the digit 1 is now red. Why? Because for the digit 0, well, we've, the digit 0 was yellow when we click on the yellow button, so it's a yellow on a yellow, so everything is fine. For 1, we clicked on the yellow button, but 1 was gray. So it's not fine because we clicked on the yellow button when one was gray, so we are not trying to tap gray. That's like the simple reasoning that is happening to make this first version of the interface work. So now let's say I continue and let's say I was typing a zero. So if I continue typing a zero, I look at zero. Zero is yellow, so I'm going to click on the yellow button. But let's for a moment look at 2. 2, which is still a valid and green number, is grey right now. So what will happen is that when I click here, a second palette will show here that will be yellow for 0, but it will be grey for 2, so 2 will be discarded. Let's do the experiment. Here we go, we have exactly what was predicted. We have 2 yellow on 0, and a yellow and a grey on the yellow button. Because there is grey on yellow, this is not valid. So at this stage, only the digit 0 and 9 are still, you know, possible. Two digits the user might be trying to do. And if we are typing a 0, we are going to click the grey button. But as you can see, 9 is yellow. So what's going to happen? We're going to have a grey palette on the grey button for 0. And a yellow palette, because 9 is yellow, on the grey button, which will make the difference between 0 
and 9. And because now there is only one digit that is green, one digit that is feasible, where the user you know, click the button corresponding of the color of the digit, then we are confident enough that 0 is the digit the user wants to type. So we show the digit 0 and move to the next one. If now I want to type a 1, I look at 1 and I repeat the process. I do gray, yellow, yellow, and yellow. And after four clicks here, the same process happened. We can see that all other digits have a dot of the wrong color on uh, the button. So 9 has a gray dot on a uh, yellow button. And the process continues. So you can try this interface for yourself as is linked uh, in the paper. Thank you.